Hi everyone, Yaru is here and today I will show you how to do custom hands in VR. So big thank you to Queen Kostlich for providing the asset link. I will leave it in the description. Once you're on this page, just click on the download link and make sure you download the zip folder. Now we can just create our Unreal Engine VR project. We're going to games, to virtual reality and we just create. Once we are in Unreal Engine, we can go to Content Folder and create a new folder. We can call it Hands, and inside Hands folder, we can create a new one and call it Animations. We can open our folder that we have extracted from the zip file, and we can go to Hand Model. And we take all of those four files into our project. Here, we can just press Import All. So as you can see now, our hand has been imported, but it's wide, and we need to create a material. To do this, we double click on Material, and now we are going to import the textures. So we have all these three textures right here. We have just imported. Let's connect the color to color this texture is for normal and this texture has three channels we're going to connect our blue channel to metallic our green to roughness and our red to ambient occlusion and hit apply button so as you can see now our hand has been updated in case it has not just select the material in the search bar now we can save all control shift s now we're going to import some animations the same way we're going to our folder and we're going to hand animations so just select all of it and just drag it here you will see this window pop up we need to uncheck import mesh checkbox we need to select the skeleton our skeleton is called qk custom hand skeleton the problem is that this animation is in the wrong frame rate so we need to go to animation tab we need to go to animation links and choose set range here we open the advanced tab and set frame import range from zero Zero to five and press import. As you can see now, all our animations are imported. Now we're going to work with our VR pawn. So go to our content folder and just type VR pawn. Once we are here, we're going to the viewport. We'll see two hands here. For the convenience, I'll just set our head pawn to display mesh to invisible. I'll just uncheck the visible. And we'll see our two hands here. Just bring them forward so we could see them better. What we're going to do, we're going to start with our hand right. We're going to our details panel. Search here for our hand. Our hand is called Q Okay, custom hand. We'll have some bugs with our fingers. That's because the old animation is applied. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to anim class and set it to not. Now you can see our full hand, but it's not rotated and positioned properly. So let's do this now. Set its X location to minus 6.2. Set its Y to 0.1. Set its Z to 5.6. So its X rotation will be 106.8. Its Y rotation will be minus 53. And its Z rotation will be minus 13.5. The scale we can leave as it is. Now let's deal with our our hand left so the same way we're going to choose qk custom hand and we're going to set our anim class to none the same way we should rotate our hand i'm just setting x y and z locations here the rotation will be 265.9 for x rotation for y it's minus 53.7 and for z it's 2.64 the only difference is that our hand left will have y scale set to minus one our hands are positioned correctly and we can check it out so as you can see now our hands work perfectly but our animations are not set up so let's do it right now so now we are going to event craft and we'll see the commented section here called hand animation input and data past animation blueprint. So make sure you delete everything that is connected to those input actions. We'll create our custom ones, compile and save. Now we just close the window. We are going to our hands. So we right click on our skeletal mesh, create animation blueprint, and we can call it AB uh, hand Anim. So I took the idea from our default mannequin hand animation blueprint. We can look in this section and we can see that we have our idle animation of the right hand, just the open regular hand, and we have our grass sprite. So the only difference is in those three fingers, they're curled and this hand is fully open. So we can see the blend node. Basically this node blends those two animations. We can change this float from zero to one and as we can see our hand grasps. Let's just replicate this idea. Let's go to our hand animation, hand anim. Once we're in Blueprint, we're just going to grab our open animation of the hand. That's just an idle animation. And then we'll drag the pointing animation. That's animation where only those three fingers are curled. Now we'll create a blend node. Now we just connect the pointing animation sequence to blend node. And now all we have to do is to map our controller. So we have our action value here. That's the value of how hard we press on the controller's button. And we'll create a variable called crest pose. And we'll have it as float variable. That will be our variable that will set up through VR pawn right here. So we can just grab this variable here and connect it to blend node. Result of the blend node, we just connect with the result. Now we can hit compile and try to change the grasp pose value. As we change our value from zero to one, we can see our hand is able to grasp. So all we have to do right now is just set this value back to zero. We don't want our hand already grasped when we enter the game. Now we head to our VR pawn class, go to hand right. And now we need to set our anim class to our recently created AB 
hand anim. The same we are doing with our hand left and hit compile. Now this input action is responsible for left hand. Therefore we're going to bring the hand left. We're getting its anim instance. Now we have to check whether this anim instance is our AB hand anim. Back to the event graph, we cast it to AB hand anim and we're connected to trigger and afterwards we set grass pose as recently i said our hand anim has a variable grass pose so we dynamically set it that's the variable that controls how much the hand is grasped and it is dynamically passed when we hit the controller button and we can just connect this right here for beauty purposes i would say this way we can just arrange it like this and once it's cancelled or completed we can do the same we can cast it to a b hand anim both cancelled and completed we'll cast to a b hand anim again but now we're going to do this from cancelled and completed nodes afterwards we're going to set the grass pose to zero and i forgot to tell we have to connect the action value to grass pose that's actually how hard we press the controller's button and we can do it like this we're done with our hand left let's go to hand right so what we can do is just to copy all of this code right here and grab it to grasp hand right expand the input action connect trigger to this cast and connect completed and cancelled to the bottom cast. We also align it, connect the action value to grasp pose. Also, it's important to change the hand to hand rate. We are pretty much done. Let's check it in the game. Here you can see our animation actually blends. Now we can just grab some objects. And as you can see, the grab perfectly works. The only thing we haven't done so far is to set up the index finger. That's what we are going to do now. In order to set up the index finger, we are actually going to our skeleton of the hand and we're going to locate our index finger bone. And now we're trying to imitate the curled index finger. So that's all I got and all we have to do is to press create asset, create animation, current pose. We can save it to the same folder with all our animations and name it anim qk curl index finger. Don't forget to save it by pressing Control shift s and we're heading back to our animation blueprint. So what we'll have to do here is to break this connection right here. So from this blends node result, we're going to create another node called layered blend per bone. What this node does is that it limits animation to the bone we're going to specify inside of this node. So for now, we can just connect the output of this node to the result and hit compile. And for blend pose zero, we're going to drag our curl index finger animation sequence. Now we're going to connect it right here. Also, this node requires the same float value as this blend node. Therefore, we're going to duplicate our variable and call it curl pose. And in the same way, we're going to connect it right here and let's hit compile. As we change our curl pose, we can see that nothing is happening. That's because our layered blend per bone doesn't have the right bone to reference. To fix this, we're going to our hands folder and we're going to our skeleton. We need to find the name of our index bone. That's this one. So we go to our details panel and just copy the name. Heading back to our animation blueprint, we click on the node, go to details panel and locate layer setup tab. We go to index and we create another element. We again go to index and paste our bone name here and hit compile. And now as we change the variable of the index finger, we can see it curling. Let's set it back to zero and hit compile. Heading back to our VR pawn, now all we have to do is just to copy the same code to IA hand index curl, right? So connect trigger to this cast, connect canceled and completed to this cast, connect action value to this node. Also, we need to change those variables. As you can see in this animation blueprint, we have a separate variable for curling. Therefore, in our VR pawn, we're going to go here, set curl pose and track it from here. And the same way we're going to set the curl pose to zero in this cast. Let's hit compile, copy this code add to index curl left. Don't forget to replace the hand right reference to hand left reference since this input action is for left hand. Connect completed and cancelled. Connect action value to curl pose and we are pretty much done. Let's check it out. As you can see I can successfully curl the index finger and I can successfully grasp. So I can go to the object, I can do this gesture, uh, I can grab objects still everything works thank you guys for watching this video and i hope this guy helped you and let me just know in the comments what you want to see next maybe you want to see some more poses or maybe you want to see how to make a different animation blueprint for grabbing a gun so that we hit our regular hand and we could actually move the trigger and trigger the pistol to fire so again i just sincerely hope it helped you see you in the next video